Hey guys, it's Dev. As you already know, this video is about my coming out story. Ooh, my journey of it. So let's get to the video. been new like I was at least some not straight so yeah that's how I could put it I was not straight from the get-go but I never told anyone I wasn't straight so it was just like I let, I let people think I was and I you know I went through that phase of not letting people like not letting to admit in myself that I was not straight so it was just hard for me at the time but what can I say? What can I do about it? it? A good bit of like fifth grade to like eighth grade. I was, that's when I was like, oh yeah, I'm straight. Even in ninth grade, my mother would ask me, uh, jokes would be put around and I'd be like, no, I'm straight. Like, I don't understand what you're talking about. Like, it was just, it was just that. High school is like changed me the most. I was just facing a lot of things and I was like I seen that everyone in high school like embraced herself and wanted to be in close with themselves. They was who they wanted to be. They didn't care. So I was like, you know what, let me be myself. But I did want it to be myself, but I, it wasn't my time yet. So I was just like, I'm gonna lay low. But I was doing things that led me to forcefully come out by my parents. I have two moms, yeah, nothing big deal, nothing big about it. Just two women that raised me. During my ninth grade, when I wanted to like embrace myself, I I didn't come out yet because I was still quote unquote heterosexual. 10th grade, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm at least bisexual. Like, let me just let that slide. Like at least what, like 11th, 11th or my 12th grade summer, I realized that yeah, I'm actually gay, so. But now I'm not bisexual. This is me getting forcefully came up coming out. So I had to be like, yeah, I'm at least something other than straight, because obviously I was not straight. Shut the fuck. I forgot my train of thought. My my virginity is a whole nother story too. That's a whole nother story time. I'm a name, you know, I'm gonna do that random name thing. <laughs> I'm trying to look around for a name. Frank. Let's just say Frank. Frank had Frank and I had uh, encounters with things, physical and emotional. Frank was also not out and probably still not out. I don't know, I haven't talked to Frank since this whole thing blew up. Frank and I, I was not out, Frank was not out. But we, yeah, we, yeah, you know, that. A week passed and I'm thinking, you know, it's fine. I'll just do this on the low until, you know, I'm ready and stuff to actually tell my parents because I, I don't know when I was gonna tell my parents, but I knew I was gonna tell them. Too bad, too, too bad that it already got told to them. It already got brought up my mother, her two friends. They like, they came over, they came past my room and straight to my mother's room and like, they were just talking with the door closed. And like, my nosy self was like, I wonder what they're talking about. But then I just eased it off. Somehow, some gracefully how, my mother called me in a room. She closed the door. My other mother joined. Like, they asked me, I was like, uh, so what are you? And I was like, what? They was like, uh, like, are you, like, when were you gonna tell us that you was one, doing things, and two, we could have been like gave you you know protection and stuff but still you didn't tell us that you were you know either gay or whatever you are and i was like what are you talking about like i was confused because what are you talking about like i i'm still thinking in my head i'm i'm straight it was just an experience jesus christ but no two friends of my mother left and my mother, mothers wanted to talk to me and we was just talking and stuff, but like, I kept denying it. So me denying it, yeah, I was like 14. But she was like, let me see your phone. And I was like, for what? And then she was like, just let me see your phone. I went to go get my phone. 
I was trying, trying to delete things because, who, who? Let me tell you. She came in and she took the phone. She was like, "All right, I got it, whatever." And she was like, "Come with me." This one kick was the thing, and I was still going through my phase, and literally kick freaking. Whew, I hate kick. I never downloaded it ever since. That thing destroyed my entire life, but it made it better also. So thank you, kick, for letting me come out. I talked to many people on Kick and it was not a pleasant talk. It was like very explicit, rated R talk, um, pictures and everything. Like how can I explain it? So I still denied it. I still denied it. I still freaking denied it. And they they were just, they were mad that I kept denying it instead of just it was like, all right, like why? I grew a little bit distant from that whole thing and I like, just wanted to be separate from them even though they were my parents because it was just like uh yeah y'all found out some things and i don't know how to approach that because i know how to approach that for myself so eventually i was just like you know what i guess i have to like because i, I did did like girls at the time i guess i'm bisexual yeah i'm bisexual and then they was like Mm, okay, yeah. Well, finally, you told us. Like, they was just like, over it. Like, yeah, you told us, finally. I don't know. Like, it took forever for you to tell us, but still. And I, I, I stopped talking to Frank for a good bit. I came out as gay. I, I just came out as gay because a lot of people... Like, I, I wear makeup. I do a lot of things that... I just stop liking girls. Like, I don't know. I just like... Like, I don't like girls. It's just... I don't see them in a explicit sexual way I, I did before and that just changed like they're just best friends to me like if I see a girl that just walk past me I'm not gonna be like Leah I could be like oh look at her butt but I'd be like not in a lustful way I'll be like oh yeah she got a nice one go ahead girl instead of a oh yeah I'll tap that like there's it's different it's, it's honestly it's honestly different for me and it was just like I realized that I did not have any sexual feelings for women but all like boys and stuff i did i was just like whew, like <laughs> hormones will go crazy let me tell you my 12th grade year my early 12th grade year i came out as gay from like 10th to through uh, a, like end of 9th through t through 11th i was bisexual and then my end like early 12th grade end of 11th 12th grade and so on and now i'm gay so that's really much my coming out. Like I was forced to come out because I mean like what else was possible to do. That's literally my coming out story. So thank you for listening and everything else. Uh, no, this is not no pity, sad one coming out story that you just cry over and stuff like that. It was actually funny. So yeah, I got caught up in some sweat that <laughs> left me banged, but I'm out. Eh. Eh, eh. Thank you for watching. Crystal would be in the next video. This is just my, this was just mine. You know, I did story time before. So, <laughs> and y'all liked it, so why not? So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, comment, and do all that whatever fun stuff. So, peace.